So do I. Um, I'll, I'll start with you, mate. Um, obviously, I asked you uh, not even that long ago. What? Three weeks? Four weeks? Something like that now? Um, if you take the fight, uh, you, you messaged me and said, listen, let me come down. Um, I've been out of the room for a long time. Uh, let me hit the pads. Um, see how I feel and, um, and then we'll go from there. Um, so we've had a few rounds on the pads now. Uh, your confidence is shot back through the roof, you've been sparring. Um, so just tell, just tell a few people about how your training has been going. Um, it's been a while since you've been in the ring and, uh, and uh, how you're looking forward to your fight night. Yeah, cheers mate. Like you said, you know, you popped up. Um, I said I'll get back to the gym, see how I feel. And um, it was like nothing had gone. Everything was still there and ready to go. Um, sparring's been going good, got Joe Howard down, got some good rounds in with him. Um, I've had some good, good sparring, so thank you everyone for the training, thank you yourself as well. Much appreciated, but I'm, I'm just ready to go. My hands are itching, I'm quite, quite sad he's not here to be honest. But to look in his eyes and just make sure he's ready, because I, I am ready, I can't wait for this. So obviously you've seen, uh, you've seen Jack, obviously you both trained from the same gym. Um, so you've seen him down there, uh, Jack don't shy away from the world, he's, uh, he's a fit, tough lad. Um, has, have you watched any of his fights or have you looked into anything? Does anything bother you about Jack? The way he boxes, the way he moves or his power? I'd be silly if I said I didn't see him. I'd, I'd be yeah, I've seen him in the gym, he's a nice guy, tough guy, resilient. I've seen his fights, I've seen some flaws, but I'm going to make sure that I make, make the most of um, But yeah, I know he's tough, I know he's in the gym, I know he's ready for the fight. But he's not here, but next week's going to be something different. So Lindsay, obviously you've been helping uh, you've been helping Jack train um, down at down at the Alpha. Again, Jack's a lovely lad. Uh, fortunately, he couldn't be here today. Um, hey, he, he did tell me uh, today or yesterday that he could be here that he couldn't make it. Um, so you've been uh, training Jack, like I said. Uh, I've trained Jack in the past. I know he's a hard working, tough guy. Uh, so just tell uh, tell the guys, um, tell one a little bit about how how Jack training is going. Um, and you know, is he is he overlooking Ryan? Does he know he's got a tough fight? And and is he going in there to win basically? Oh uh, yeah, Jack's Jack's been training. Jack always trains. He's always ready. He's always fit. He's got a average novice. He's beyond, he's beyond his record. But he's under no illusion that was Ryan is a, a lot more experienced. Um, he's not he's not scared by it, he's not put up by it. But yeah, he's he's gonna come prepared for it, so yeah. Do you, do you think well Jack or is Jack, shall I say, is Jack the sort of person that he are coming to look for the stoppage or is Jack the sort of person where he will just box or you're teaching him to box and if the if the opening's there and then he takes it or is he just thinking, well I'm gonna rush this fight and try and get it over and done with? Um he's not he's obviously if you're knocking up there, it's there, isn't it? Um, like obviously Jack's last fight he wasn't expecting it to stop his opponent so quick. Um, he knows that Ryan's going to be all good. He's, he's a lot taller. He can switch that, which Jack will not struggle with. Obviously, he's not come across that before. So he's just, yeah, he'd be happy just to come out there and win. And, and same to you, really, Roy. Um, are you going to go in there um, and just look to ex execute straight away? Or are you going to go in there and do what you do best, box, and then look for the opening if you see it? Yeah, I, I've never made predictions and I'm never going to say I'm going in there to stop someone and that's, that's not what I do. I go in there to box, but a lot of the time they do get stopped. So if, if he you know, gives me the opportunity, I'm going to take it with my fans. If not, I'm just going to jab his head off all night. Obviously you're confident in your own in your own power um, and you and you told me that you feel you feel you, you hit a lot harder now than you've, you've come up with. Um, do you think he's going to be able to subsay your power on the way? Um, wow, that's, well, I know he's a tough guy, so I'm going to keep putting it on him. But hopefully he gets to the point where he can't cope with it anymore. If not, I've got the rounds in the bank, I've got the, I've got the stamina. 
if not, I'll just take his head off and I'll, I'll just keep giving him the power. But, but you're right, I, I definitely feel strong. Lockdown happened, I left the breaks for quite, a quite some time, and um, the strength is, is there. It is there. Okay, so Lynn, um, have you got anything to us really? You want to add, you want to, add to it? I know, like I said, Jack has been training hard. Um, he's down with you every day, most days. Uh, you put the work in. He's not, Jack don't ever come to lose himself. Um, and he'd be, he'd be saying that himself if he is here today. Um, but listen, this is, uh, this is, again, this is made to be, um, to be a great fight. You've got Royan, um, which, is, which is full of experience. He's had, um, he's had numerous amounts of fights. And then you've got Jack, who, again, he's just one of these fighters where, do you know what, you offer him a fight. And yeah, he just says, yeah, straight away. He's not one of these fighters where, you know, you have to go through thousands of videos or he's got to look and do this. You ask him to fight, he takes a fight. Um, so, Linz, on, on Jack's behalf, um, again, just, just a few words, just a few words from, from Jack. I think if Jack was here, he's, he's quite honest, isn't he? He's not, he's not a nasty guy. He, he, would, he, would just, he would just say that, don't just wait him. He is, he is coming fit and ready. He can run. He, he, is, he is better than a six, than a six by five. So. It's going to be, I reckon, other than Ben and Joe, this one will be quite the night for sure. Okay guys, uh, obviously Ryan's not here. Uh, oh Ryan, you are here, sorry. Obviously Jack's not here. <laughs> Jack's not here. Is there any last words you want to say to Jack or if you look on the camera? Nah, I've got nothing to say. We're both sportsmen, so good luck. I know your training's gone well mine has too, so let the best man win. Jose, 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 so guys, um, yeah, so it's Ryan and Jack Slater on the card next next Saturday. Um, if you haven't got your tickets, I suggest you get your tickets because they are selling fast. You can get them from myself, you can get them from the Burts and all the boxers that are on the show. Okay, uh, any last words, Steve? Uh, yeah, I just want to say again, um, listen, a big massive thanks, obviously, to, to everyone involved, everyone that, that helps me, obviously, all, all the fighters. Uh, Obviously, without all the fighters um, coming on to the show, selling tickets and doing what they do, obviously we wouldn't, we wouldn't have no show. Um, I'm quite fortunate, really, uh, nowadays that um, a lot of people come to me and ask and ask to fight on the show. I haven't really got to go, um, you know, and chase the fights and, and, and beg people for fights. Um, so I'm getting to a good, a good stage now where I'm getting quite respected. Um, as in the shows I put on, I always try to better to better the shows I put on. Um, and again, I wouldn't be able to do these things um, without, without the looks of my sponsors. So obviously I've got, I've got four main sponsors. Um, I've got JGS Heating Engineers, which is um, Nikki, Nikki Jahita and Jansen Jahita. Again, they've, they've sponsored me um, on, on probably my last five, on my last five shows. Um, I've got OPEX Professional, uh, Lee Hart. He's just come on board and sponsored me for the first time. I've got uh, Cole's, Cole's scaffolding, you can't see it, um, he is down there. I've uh, got Cole's scaffolding. Again, Martin Cole's, he's, he's, another one of the main, he's another one of the main sponsors. And I've got uh, New Jack's drainage and property. Um, Sean Jackson and, uh, and, and Wayne, and Wayne Munich. Um, so listen, without them guys, first of all, as, as being my four main sponsors, the show, the show wouldn't happen. Um, but then you've got Kyber, who sponsors me every show. You've got obviously uh, Roto Boxing and Conditioning, that's me. Uh, the pro, the pro podcast. <laughs> You've got um, James, James Rubbish Removal again, who's come on board for the first time. So any rubbish that needs moving, uh, if anyone's watching this, then listen. Contact Jordan McGovern. Um, Punch Trump Barber, who's uh, who always gives me a fresh trim. Um, so if you need a haircut, gonna see him. Lambwall Food Hall. Um, you got Swindon. You got Swind Swindon Fencing down there. Um, and again, just uh, just great friends of mine, um, Phil Wells, and again, and the Paragon Print, who does uh, who does all the print, as you can see all around. Um, so, listen, guys, all I want to say, like I said, is one more time, the the show I think is going to be a sellout. Uh, we've got 12 great fights, um, got a great main event, which is a, again in memory of Alan Nudic. Um, got celebrities in the building, Big Joe Egan. Listen, if no one knows about Joe Egan, then go check him out. He was seven times uh, Irish boxing champion. He was Mike Thompson's main sparring partner. Um, he's been in new 
just my lots of films. Um, type his name in on YouTube, guys, and, and I think you'll see how big how big he really is. Um, and then you got Lee Salvi, who's uh, who's cleaned up in the divisions. You've got um, Gavin Gwynn, who's current Commonwealth champ. And then obviously you've got Jamie Cox, who's, who's fought for wild titles. So this is going to be a great show, um, full of wicked fights and celebrities in the building. Um, so listen, I just want to say thanks to everyone. Thanks to my wife. Who, uh, she was running a little bit late today because she'd done her makeup. Um, but yeah, she's uh, she always helps me out uh, on all the shows. We had a little dis we had a discussion last night and we decided it was 70-30, so I give 30% of the grace. Um, but yeah, uh, this is uh, I just want to say thanks again to everybody. Get your tickets if you ain't got them. It's going to be a banging night. Um, Saturday, 28th, uh, and that's it. Drew Burke wants a word. I was just going to say that uh, Saturday, 28th of August. SM Fight Club, be there, it's going to be an absolute banger, fire, alright? Let's give Ryan and Lindsay a massive round of applause. Thank you to all the boxers for turning up, and for all the boxers that didn't turn up, disappointed. Thank you, thank you Ben, thank you.